My first encounter with Kogan is actually quite funny because uh, I had worked with Dan Gerber on a book called the, of his poet of Dan's poetry called the Chinese Poems, and he had asked me to do my interpretation of the ox herding pictures, <clears throat> and so uh, to be included in the book. Kogan came for a visit and uh, he wanted to see them. He wanted to talk with me about them. As Coben was uh, a, a real master at using um, moments and, you know, sort of trigger devices to, uh, to teach. And so we looked at all of them, and um, all 10 ox herding pictures, and, and he commented on them, and he said, well, they're very nice, but uh, and they were all laid out, and he said, but the real way to see them is, and he gathered them all up, and he held them up as one piece, and he said, this is how you see them. I think he really knew these ceremonies and forms inside out through his training in Japan and uh, from his teacher and as well as I'm sure at Aheiji too, um, kind of a master of ceremonies. But really what he offered us was the form of sitting, orioki, to support and nourish zazen. And simple um, simple ceremonial aspect of the Heart Sutra, chanting the Heart Sutra. And that's pretty much it. And um, I've never needed anything more. I think his core message was, was uh, you know, be yourself. Um, you don't have to um, fly off into to Japan and join a Heiji and pound yourself for, for decades, you know. Um, be yourself, be in the world. There was one time, but it doesn't come out very well in the storytelling, but I'll tell it maybe and you can decide whether to use it or not. But <clears throat> we, were, we were at Sashin and it was during Dharma talk and Coben was talking and I was sitting towards the back of the room and this guy Ted Tripp was sitting just in front of me and he had drowsed off, you know. And uh, Coben was telling us, trying to exemplify something that he had just said by saying, you know, it's like the cowboys and Indians. And the guy next to Coben said, I bet you don't even know any cowboys and Indians. And Ted just pops his head and goes, I'm a cowboy. And everybody just lost it. I mean, Coben had tears running down his face laughing so hard about it because it just came out of the blue, and Ted actually was <laughs> a cowboy, <laughs> but... <clears throat> Coben had a, uh, his special gift, I think, was to uh, look at someone and speak to someone and find out, and it was a very quick study about finding out what that per spoke to that person. There was some sense that people weren't sitting so much in Japan and, and the United States was ripe for it. People were genuinely moved to do it. To insist on um, practice in a certain way that doesn't change um, with the times um, I think was very evident to Coben and likely Suzuki Roshi, Mizumi Roshi, and the rest that um, you know we, it, it's necessary to change with the time. Bob Watkins told me that <clears throat> some of the times he would go with Coben places, um, 
people would actually, some of the other priests would come and ask him questions about a given ceremony and how should we do this, you know, seek his advice. But um, Bob said, expresses it that he was, Coben was the one working in the background and not taking the credit for anything. I, I'm sorry I didn't see Coben one last time when I left um, Hokoji. I got a call uh, late at night um, that uh, Coben and Maya had passed. Katrine and Coben ended up with uh, three children, and um, Tatsuko and Maya and Alyosha. And this is where, during one of the <coughs> trips, the family was in Switzerland with visiting Vanya, and there was this accidental drowning of Maya. Coben dove in after her in some way, whether to save her or to travel with her. I think that Coben, his main purpose was to impart this practice of Shikantaza and um, And to be like somewhat hands off, you know, because he wanted to like get this piece and then see what evolved, what came out directly out of sitting, rather than to create a structure or a form to, for it to be contained by. He wanted it to be completely able to flower in its own way. Sun drives me in.